Hello, my name is Miss O'Brien and I want to show you how languages can be useful in lots of different careers. Some of you might be doing your GCSE options at the moment or maybe A-level options and you're wondering, do I need to take a language and why is it useful? Let's take a look at some ideas. I love this quote. It says, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. And that's all about bringing together your interests, what you're good at and what you care about. And if you manage to hit that sweet spot, you really will have a better time in your work, in your career um, and how you progress in life. So language skills can be used in almost any career and particularly in businesses that trade internationally. The world of work is changing as so many things are changing at the moment and it's a very uncertain time, but many people work from home. In technology, it connects us, but languages really allow us to understand each other. And globalized companies, they need localized information. And what does that mean? That means we need people with language skills, with cultural understanding, with language skills, you have more likely to travel for work and have adventures. That's right, if you've got language skills, the opportunities that are open to you are so much more varied. And we know that now it's even more important that we increase our job opportunities, okay? It's a difficult time. Now, most people think there are a couple of main jobs you could do if you get a language GCSE or A level. And the obvious ones are teacher and translator. Now I know, being a teacher, that it has given me lots of opportunities. And you can go and study abroad, you can teach abroad. If you're a translator, you might do amazing things in terms of working on big events or in politics. Um, so there are plenty of opportunities with these two jobs, but I want to show you some of the other possibilities. So have you ever thought about being a spy, a real life spy? not like James Bond, but actually helping to protect the country. So MI5's mission is to keep the country safe, okay? And they have always protected us from terrorism and from spies from other countries. Such an interesting job and you need good qualifications, you need a good degree and language skills could really get you into that service. Have you heard of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office? So their job is to represent our government abroad. It might mean representing companies for us and the international trade that they do, but it can also mean looking after our citizens who work and live abroad, or even if you're on holiday and something, something terrible happens, then it's the Foreign Office that, that would help you out. The United Nations. So the United Nations is an intergovernmental organization that aims to maintain international peace and security so if you're interested in how countries get along with each other how they relate how you prevent wars how you prevent conflict then perhaps you want to think about whether you'd like to work for the United Nations international charity worker so here are some big international charities like UNICEF and Oxfam uh, people who've got language skills are more likely to travel to interesting places with their charity work could you be a journalist overseas? You'd need to talk to people on the ground. You'd need to communicate. And what about documentary makers or producers on programmes that are made abroad? We know that the most fascinating programmes we watch are made in lots of different countries. And each team would need somebody who speaks the language in order to negotiate, organise and produce that programme. Have you thought about being an events organiser? These huge international events take lots and lots of people to make them happen. So think of any international event. Think of the Olympics, Rugby World Cup, the Football World Cup. And imagine, imagine being in the stadium after having worked hard on the FIFA World Cup in 2018. France were the winners. Look at that amazing atmosphere. You could be there if you use your language skills. Have you thought about working in the travel and tourism industry? So Air France, Iberia, there's examples of flight companies that are from uh, both France and Spain. You could be a pilot or you could work in the cabin crew. What about a travel rep? Travel reps help people enjoy their holidays. They help them from the moment they arrive to the moment they leave to make the best of their time there. And they need language skills to be able to talk to the people driving the bus, people at the attractions, 
super interesting job, an amazing way to travel and to get paid when you live abroad and really interesting. Fashion brands, think how it's an international stage for fashion brands and a lot of the headquarters of these major fashion brands are abroad. So we've got Chanel, which is French, Zara is a more high street label, but it's actually Spanish in origin and Balenciaga, which is a Spanish fashion brand. Global technology companies and banks. These companies need language speakers. Here are some examples. Even though some of those companies like Netflix, Google and Apple are American companies, they sell their programs and their internet services and their products all over the world. So they need people to manage teams and to sell to people in different countries, as I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, travel companies that are now online, such as TripAdvisor, Booking.com, Expedia, need a variety of language speakers to help them make the best service. Booking.com is based in Amsterdam, could be a really cool place to live. Uh, Santander is a Spanish bank, Deutsche Bank is German. Um, and that's a really interesting opportunity if you're thinking about working corporate life but you want a little bit more of an interesting range of possibilities for you then having a language skill is really going to make you stand out. So what kind of language skills do you gain from language learning? There are so many and employers really value these skills. So communication, problem solving, we know it's tricky to translate and sometimes figure out a word that we've never heard before. Analyzing, developing relationships, translation, cultural understanding, memorizing information. We know that we have to learn our vocabulary and the skill of memorizing can be so useful for so many other things. Continuing in your career, you may have to do more training, you may have to do more exams. And if you were really good at remembering your words in languages, is certainly going to help you in other exam contexts. It really improves your confidence. If you're brave enough to speak in another language, you know that you will make mistakes along the way and you'll learn from those mistakes and that really builds confidence. And finally, teamwork. Okay, Languages, you can't have languages without another person. It is all about communication and therefore teamwork. And the top five languages required by UK employers happen to be German, Chinese, French, Spanish and Italian. And a lot of those languages are studied in our UK schools. So in an increasingly global employment market, there is a high demand for able linguists. 38% of British people speak another language. Personally, I don't think that's that many when you compare us to other countries like Scandinavian countries um, or other countries in Europe where they speak English, but probably another one or two languages as well. So if you're a language speaker who's British, you can really stand out when it comes to employment. Make yourself stand out, have that language qualification and really be confident because it makes a difference when you're competing for jobs. 74% of UK employers value language skills. As I've just explained, you've got so many different skills from someone who can speak a language, who has learnt a language. Employers know that that makes a difference in, in how they're going to relate to their clients, in how they're going to communicate and write emails and, and how they're going to write reports because language skills are so important. Um, so where will your language skills take you? I hope I've inspired you to think about some different ideas and, and really think about how a language could help you progress in the future. And I'll leave you with this quote. The limits of my language mean the limits of my world. So if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any comments on careers, jobs, questions about languages and language skills, then please put them in the comments below.